number 12, Tim Bates. Number 14, Dave Lipinski. Number 20, Fred Garza. Number 24, Mike Jones. Number 42, Richard Young. Number 44, Greg Rout. Number 50, Scott Weinstra. And now the starting lineup for the Harvard Hornets. The forward, the senior, 6-1, number 34, Mike Fisher. Hard nosed and number one academically in class. At forward, the senior, 6-6, number 52, Jamie Martin. One of the finest players in all of Class A basketball in the state. At center for the Hornets, the senior, 6-5, number 40, Eric Schimke. With 20 points and eight rebounds earlier today. At guard, a senior, 5'9", number 10, Jay Jones. The point guard, pressing defense. And at guard to the Hornets, a senior, 6'3", number 32, Tom King. His coach says he's a coach on the floor. And now let's meet the card jerkers of Hookston East One High School with a record of 30 victories, only two losses, three losses. The head coach of the Hoopstead Corn Jerkers is Randy Feller. Number four is Steve Coach. Number 14, Steve Crothers. Number 15, Eric Goodrum. Number 21, Ryan Queen. Number 22, Steve Rikas. Number 23, Brad Dean. Number 32, Kelly Club. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Hooks and Eastwood Court Jerkers. And a forward, a senior, six feet tall, number 13, Jerry Miller. Averaging six points and six rebounds a game. The other forward, a junior, 6'1", number 30, Kevin Root. The man with the hot hand, 28 in the semifinals. Starting at center for the guard jerkers, a junior, six, ten and a half, number 33, Dave Bush. Averaging in double figures in rebounds. At a guard, a senior, 5'9", number 10, Joe Walder. He can do it all on the court. A great performance. And the other guard for Hoops to East Lynn, a senior, 6'5", number 11, and Thad Mata. Do yourself a favor, watch Thad Mata play in this one. The officials for this game are Donald Huddleston of Palmer and Jim Palnall of Decatur. That's it. We're set for the tip-off when we come back. One of your network sponsors is DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Gold and white from East Central Illinois near Indiana, Hoopston Eastland Corn Jerkers. They'll be in the white uniforms trimmed in red and blue. The officials ready. The matchups go into the middle with 6'10 and a half. Dave Bush against 6'5 Eric Shimke. This game will have muscle, shooting, finesse, and a couple of all-staters. Uh, this should be a great matchup here. I expect a real good ball game here, Frank. For third place in the state, Jamie Martin has the ball come loose out of his hand. Picked up by Mike Fisher inside, blocked by Bush. Fisher back. And a jump ball as Bush got his hands on the first two. Dave Bush already has two blocks in the game. We've only played about uh, 14 seconds. <laughs> Bush will be back next year at Hoopston. And some people think because he is, they'll be back here. And here's Mr. Everything. Bad Mata. M-A-T-T-A. That spells magic. It sure does. Great ball player, Frank. Uh, does two, everything. 2-3 zone for Harvard. 
lob inside the bush. Here's Kevin Root. So this is basically the same uh, zone that they have used throughout the tournament. Tom King comes down in the lane. He's followed by Bush. King is a 6'3 guard. He's a good ball handler and a very petty customer. And Kevin Root had a real good afternoon, too. We didn't mention him a while ago. We talked about Dave Bush and Sad Mata. Kevin Root had a great ball game this afternoon. Kevin Root's another player that will be back at Hoopston. King breaks the scoring. You get the impression that there'll be a high-scoring game. Harvard averages just under 70. Hoopston averages 74 points a game. Mata always hustling into the front court. He likes to back in on the dribble. Here's Joe Walden. Might tell our viewers if they haven't seen Hoopston play, watch them try to pick up screens out on the front court and run defended, defensive players into them. Yes, Frank, they'll bring, uh, they'll bring even their big man, Dave Bush, all the way out in the middle of the floor for a pick for Thad Mata. Jamie Martin drills one from the left of the key. Jamie did not have a good shooting afternoon, and uh, maybe he started right tonight. He's pretty close to the number one scorer in school history. There's the answer right back. Bad Mata. Well, we talked about Martin and Mata. They got the last two. Martin on the scooch. Gives it up to Shimke. And here comes Walter, two on one. Walter gives it to Root. He's in. Beautiful drive. He turned his body real well. Use the body, keeping the mask, getting a box shot. It's six to four, Hoops and East Lynn. Coming back here with a one, two, two zone, looks like. One, two, two, three, one, three, one. Jay Jones at the top. Martin's on the wing, now roaming the baseline. Mike Fisher. Jerry Miller pulls it down, and it's right Mata's moving it out. They're gonna run in this game. Mata has a pop, it doesn't go. Tempo's no problem, both like the same speed wide open. Jamie Martin steps in and is held. Looks like uh, Thad Mata might have got him. So Thad Mata is the size of many high school centers and forwards. You forget uh, that the way he handles the ball. True enough, you seldom see a man with his size and stature being out in the middle for handling the ball as well as he does. Mike Fisher got that one to tie the game at six at the 540 mark of the first quarter. And we've seen zones. The 2 3 zone is a staple for so many teams in high school and college basketball. Fair enough, Frank. Uh, usually, a lot of times you'll start out in that. You may go from something else, but uh, you'll usually start out in that, basically. Mata whips the ball to Root. Jamie Martin on the outlet pass. He does that so well. King hesitates and misses. Now, the other way, the half court pass to Walder. And the defense got down and set up. Mata deep in the corner. He turns, tries the glass. King out left and runs. Harvard. Jamie Martin. Beautiful feed. Beautiful feed by Tom King. Beautiful. Just gave the ball at the right time. That's four for Martin of Harvard's eight. The Hornets lead by a pair. Nice looking fast break, filling up the lanes. Here's a lob inside the bush. They collapse, the root shoots and miss. Bad Mata controls the rebound. Beautiful job. He's got some hands. Whenever uh, Dave Bush gets the ball in there, he's really drawing a crowd. Mata, who sees the court so well. Walder is blocked. Taken down. Let's see if Hornets will go up ahead with it. Jones goes all the way. And charge. No basket. Jay Jones got just a little out of control, trying to handle the ball and drive the distance. There's Randy Feller and Wayne Bandy over on the corn jerker bench. Harvard sets up the zone. Hoopston shoots for the tie. Nobody's bashful in this they game. They need to get the ball into Dave Bush. Mata baseline. It'll go down. Woo, it's Came off. It looked like it was going to fall like back it's here. In. That's true. And Mata got the foul. Called against Jay Jones. Jay Bush is fighting uh, Eric Stimke and Jamie Martin in there, and they a lot of size against him, and uh, they're having trouble getting the ball inside. I'm sure they'd like to get it to him. Mata 
That's the first of a pair. Got two in the game. Just over four minutes in the first quarter. The class A. Final round. Mata makes it an eight to seven Harvard lead. King triggers up ahead. Martin, he's free. He just gives Jamie Martin just a little bit of air and he'll drill you. That was a nice shot. Left him open, though, too much. He's a good shooter from that point. He's got six. Did you get the impression there'll be some big numbers on the board? I'd say. Mata. A little short. Mata might have been a little bit too far out that time. He could come in a little closer on that shot. Jones hurries it down to the baseline. Martin kind of feels it. He has it nearly stripped out of his hand, but King controls. The defense is still there. Fisher's in the corner. Well, Mike Fisher's come out of the box shooting. He's got four. Harvard hitting off pretty well right now. They've got a five-point lead at 3-12 in the first quarter. They're looking for Bush, and they've got a sandwich around him, a couple of big guys. No way they get it into him like that. Walter lops it to him. He turns and got it. That's his normal shot. That's Against true. Lowell Hamilton, he was adjusting That's that shot. That's true. Now he turns and he, he shoots it with a little more freedom. He's a force when you get the ball on the low block to him. Shimke is two inside. Jamie Martin. Jamie's having a field day. At eight for Martin. 14 to nine, the Hornets. The Hornets representing the Big Eight Conference. Fab Mata. Right back with Fab Ring the bell from that one. It's five for Mata. Fisher again. This time it's short. Weak side rebound to Kevin Root. The tempo is awfully fast right now for Dave Bush. I think that uh, this this tempo will have a, have a little bit of a bearing on uh, Dave Bush. That was Joe Walter. He had a bearing on the score. He got a hoops and back within one. Just punched the ball into Shimke and uh, he just stuck yeah, the header. We had a mismatch there, Frank. Gary Miller got caught at six feet guarding Shimke, and not only is Shimke 6'5", but he weighs all of 210, and he just snuffed his man down low. Strong player. Mata starts in. Harvard by three. This is for third. Frank Bassoni along with Art Kimball and Coach Bob Dallas. Root comes outside, and Mata's on the wing. Battle for the board goes to Harvard. Three on two break with King in the middle. Behind the back, bounce pass to Jones. Yes! Beautiful feed by Tom King. A five-point Hornet lead. 1-18, first quarter. Root holds on. Now he turns and fires, and it got stuck uh -huh. between the rim and the bank board. That's uh, very unusual to see that. First time I've seen that in a long time. Art, why don't you go out there and tip that down? I don't want to embarrass anybody. <laughs> By the way, well, we got a timeout. I'll get back in just a moment. All right, timeout on the court. One of your network sponsors is Lasso. Hoops and Eastland with the ball, trying to cut the lead to five. Root, a good shooter, is in the corner. 15 seconds. They're looking for Bush. Ten seconds. Mata starts to go. Pulls up. It came out. Rebound Root. Five seconds. Root shot. Rebound with three. Harvard. That's the end of the first quarter of play. And the score is the Harvard Hornets. 20. Houston Eastland. 13. One of your network sponsors, Country Companies Insurance. Houston gets within seven. The ball came up on Jones. He might have got away with a walk. King finds Martin in the corner, and Martin zeroes it. Jimmy Martin is really on tonight. He didn't have a very good day this afternoon, but he's having it tonight. He's got those crosshairs on the fingers uh -huh, tonight. He's he going right down. He's got a dozen. Mata answers. Again, Mata was just a dribble away from having a good shot. And King takes it. Oh, nice play by Joe Walter on the D. Even though he lost the ball out of bounds, he saved a deuce there. Now Mike Jones is going to get back in, a 5'9 junior. And Mike Fisher gets the rest. Don't forget, the title game will have Providence St. Mel against Christman. 
Tom Shields will go against Roger Beals. Jones gets in the paint and bangs it off the board. Rebound, kill keeper two. Shimke has four, and it's an 11-point margin for the Hornets. They've come out smoking, and that was their problem earlier today. They didn't shoot well. Mana hangs, and the rebound comes down to King. Harvard really likes the up-tempo game. King with a brilliant pass, but it's tipped by Bush, and then off Jamie Martin. Bad Mata's coming out for a brief rest. Jerry Miller, 13, comes back. We're at the 5.08 mark in the first half. And the corn jerkers need a rally. Bush is one of the guys that can bring them back. Walter missed that. In and out. Tough break for Walter. Jones feeling his oats in this game. Pulls up and sends it up. And up tempo comes Walter. He gets the ball to the baseline and has Martin seal him off. But Kevin Root is free. It's up. And that would have counted if it had went. Yes, it would. On Harvard. Oh. On Jay Jones. Lasso, Monsanto's Lasso, the yield protector, is proud to be one of the co sponsors of this Class A tournament. And we hope you'll join us next week for the double A firing here at the Assembly Hall in Champaign. Jay Jones has to come out of the game with three personals. And Kevin Root goes to the line shooting a pair. Root had 19 in the Super, 14 in the quarterfinals, and 28 in the semifinals. He's got three now. Dave Bush gets the rest as Steve Crothers comes on for Hoopson. Now Mata's going to come back and report in. Root made a pair. And it's 28-19, the Hornets. 4-41 in the first half. Rikas comes back out. Art and Coach Bob, uh, think about this a minute. Anybody that Thad Mata reminds you of in basketball, if the fans might know, the way he plays, the way he looks on the court. Jamie Martin, we already talked about a little Jack Sigma there, and he put that down. Jamie Martin is just shooting the, the lights out in this ball game. Jamie Martin has 14 points of Harvard's 30. We're in the first half. Of course, the average is 22, so it's not unusual to see him score. Ball goes down low and back outside, and Mata's got a shot. He's got 11. So Martin and Mata have 25 between us still here. And Walter's got it, and he turns and puts it off the window. No. And Harvard, with a nine-point lead, has the ball back. Look at King wrap around in traffic. Fisher tried to get it inside and it was kicked away. I think uh, Jimmy Martin and Eric Simpke is having a, a good evening because with Dave Bush out, uh, they had so much size uh, over the other ball. So. Into Simpke, a nice lob, and his muscle puts one home. He has a half a dozen. He's a capable inside player. He sure is. You give him the ball, he's strong, and he can put it up. He's hard to move on the board, too. Miller has the ball out of his hands with three and a half to go. Boy, teams are now very conscious of Kevin Root. They cover him much better than they did in that double game. I thought he double dribble. I guess he picked it up. Here comes Root. Well, Kevin Root's got a half a dozen, and Harvard leads by nine. Kevin Root can carry a team when he gets warmed up. King fakes and goes, and he walks. That was caused by Thad Mata. Mata took up, just drove at him, and it uh, looked like he was going to foul him, and he went to the right time. There's time out on the court in our third-place game with Harvard in the lead, and one of your network sponsors is DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. <laughs> first stop the tournament and it's amazing what a dunk is psychologically <laughs> it can do a lot to both sides king really having a game finds fisher and he whistles it in and harvard's on fire one minute to go they're 11 ahead harvard's shooting a real good percentage yeah their shooting percentage will really be interesting mata with his 
by now familiar back in dribble. Not enough movement away from the ball. Here's a lob to Bush, oh, yeah. and he's fouled by Cinti. Uh, Frank, that's what I was saying. Uh, it, here it is almost a halftime, and uh, I don't think that uh, neither Cinti or Martin has but possibly, what, one foul each? And, uh, you know, no foul problems at all. And they, they must have put the ball into, into uh, Dave Bush's hands. Well, he definitely, Cinti definitely got it here. He comes out now with 45 seconds to go. Here's Crothers in blocked away by Shinty. King in the middle. King really up tempos the game. And now we'll see if they slow it up. Not on your life. And Jamie Martin looked at the rim and two guys covered him immediately. We're down to a half a minute in the half. Now the call by King, one shot. Harvard by 11, trying to take a 13-point lead at intermission. Hoopston was behind 14 to Providence St. Mel and took the lead from there. Rikus commits the foul. Make it Rikus. And it's out of bounds to the Hornets. Rikus. 13 seconds to go in the half. King is free. Inside. Puts it off the board. Eight Plenty seconds. Of time. Plenty of time is right for... Hoopston and a steal. Well, we have traveling on uh, Harvard. Four seconds. Time to get a shot. Still plenty of time. I'd like to see the ball go into big. Well, of course, Dave Bush isn't in there now. Watch for Root. They break. There's Root. Three. Root gives it up. He doesn't know. There's the shot by Mata. No. That bit he didn't know how much time was that, Frank. And we have halftime in our third place game with the Hornets of Harvard in front, 38 to 27. Undefeated squads of uh, Lawrenceville. We spent some real good ball clubs up here. This year we had a lot of good ball clubs, but uh, no super ball clubs. All right, we'll start for the second half now. If you just joined us, Harvard is in the black, trimmed in the gold. And hoops in Eastland in the white. Jamie Martin, the leading scorer in the game, starts with the ball. I look for Dave Bush to be used more. Martin way out there. He got a lot of left there. Roll in point. I think we'll see that Dave Bush be getting the ball quite more uh, frequently in this third quarter. Well, let's see if that's right. Bush is calling for it. The first time down, he got his hands on it. Now Mata looks in again. He, oh, he threw a bounce pass by Bush, intended for Jerry Miller, and out of bounds. Mata really seized the floor. I'm not so sure Miller was ready for that. I think that it was a good pass. Miller just uh, was probably blocked off by uh, Dave Bush. Now Harvard comes up. We've seen zones on both ends. King gets free. There's Jones with three fouls, penetrating. Good things happen when point guards penetrate. Uh, exactly right. I thought Dave Bush kind of dropped back too deep. He thought he was going to dump it off. Here's Fat Mata way outside, and he rang that one down. And Tom King knocked him down and said, I'm sorry, Sam. 15 for Mata. Seven minutes in the third quarter. Lots of points to be scored. Shimpy gets two of them. They run back. Move the ball inside. It's Jamie Martin, Eric Shimpy. No, eight for Shimpy. 57% shooting to 35 in that first half. And you can expect Hoops and East Lynn to pick up their percentage. Root is one of the guys that can get that done. Walters outside. I maintain that Dave Bush must have the ball. He must have the ball in his hands. Six for Walter. And it must be done this quarter. 13-point Harvard lead. Harvard doesn't show any signs of throwing up offensively. Martin baseline. Now to Jones foul line. At that time, Dave Bush did pick up the drive. Big rebound by Mata, who swings into the lane. Bush grabs at it. Miller steps in, puts it up and in, and it counts. Three point play. Could be a three point play here. Good, strong rebound and score. And the foul is on Martin. Martin there on the picture goes 6'6", six, six, 190. He's only 17 years old. That's a young senior. There's Jerry Miller, another 17-year-old senior. A three-point play puts Hoopston within 10. Uh, I believe they make a run here. I, 
as I said, I keep repeating myself, but I'd like to see Dave Bush have him a little more. I'll say this. Oh, here's a steal by Hoopson. And the way they're going up and down the court, 10 points isn't a lead uh, like it is in a slow tempo true. game. Kevin Root. Jamie Martin up goes. Martin goes behind the back on the open court. Inside Fisher. Mike Fisher makes it a dozen point lead by Harvard. Eight for Fisher, who's having a good scoring game. Waller tucks his way in. And King comes out of the pack. King hesitates and shoots. Shimsky. Harvard is scoring virtually every time down. Yeah, they are. They're, they're going to the big man inside. Shimsky's had a great evening. Jamie Martin now has 84 points in the state finals. That's an average of 21 a game with just about a half to play. And Hoopson calls timeout with 5.05 in the third. One of your network sponsors is Lasso. When I first started to think about even doing a test spot, I figured a herbicide is a herbicide is a herbicide. But Tim Neese found out there was a difference between Lasso and another grass herbicide. The whole plot was hauled to town, and uh, we had an extra wagon and a half of corn to go from the Lasso side. Lasso, the yield protector. I was disappointed I hadn't used Lasso on everything. Hey, my orchid man. Oh, hi, Jason. The ice cream store's wide open. I know. I'm here to make sure it's safe from pests. Do they go for ice cream? Not since I've been coming. But you're my orchid man. Well, sure, but I protect lots of places. You'll still come to my house? Every month. Protect what you care about. <laughs> Call Orkin, America's most trusted termite and pest control. He's my orchid man, but you can borrow him. <laughs> The Harvard Hornets are hot, thanks a lot to their baseline, which has Eric Shimsky and Jamie Martin on fire, and they've got 36 to 13 scoring advantage in that front line in the backcourt, hoops in East Lynn, because they've got Thad Motto, oh, 21 to 12. And you've got to give a lot of credit to Tom King. He's done a great job setting those people up. Walter's on the point. He's got a free throw. That's all that is, the free throw. They packed that zone down so low. They're working on Dave Bush so much that they're leaving everybody up front. They've got to hit them out there. Eight points for Walter. It's a 12-point Harvard lead, and they have the ball. Let's see the defense has come out just a little bit further, and Fisher shoots. Look at Jerry Miller. Jerry Miller's done a good job. He, worked, he, he goes in as a substitute for anyone. Outside, inside. Waller missed that, and Miller goes after it again. Fisher fell down. Inside it goes to Mata. And a three-second violation on the corn jerk. Well, Jerry Miller fell in the lane, and he didn't get up in time, so it had to be a three-second lane. I have thought of a lot of calls, maybe not that one. Well, this is a good block here. He undercut the man, <laughs> but he didn't get out of the lane in time. <laughs> Randy Feller is a little upset. <laughs> Looks like wrestling. <laughs> Skip pass over the zone, finds Fisher. The game, the foul up really is on Tom King. Very physical and a real racehorse type thing. Foul is on King is first. Four minutes and three seconds to go in the third. And Hoopston needs a couple of hoops in a hurry. There's the coaching staff for Harvard. Bruce Burchow, helped out by Mark Dion and John Lagerhausen. Root looked down low, but Mata's outside. Mata rings the bell again. 17, a steal by Waller, steps in, and is fouled, and all of a sudden, another one with Tom King. The Jerkers get a couple of quick fouls on King. And Walder makes a good play here, Coach. He really does. I think he kicked the ball, but they didn't call it that way. Some of these guards get really down low. Fernando Bunch is good at that. And the free throw by Walder makes the score 48-39, and this could cut it to an eight-point lead. Now within eight, they're still in striking distance. St. Mel will attest to that. <laughs> Jay Jones in a hurry. King had a moment of daylight. 
Keeps rezoning and there's a steal by Root. They were trying to get the ball over to Jamie Martin. Jamie Martin's been cool this quarter. Interesting here. Hoops been making a little run without their big center in the game. A small lineup. Crothers is inside at 6-1. Here's a shot that doesn't go down. And Martin peels it off the board. King's a nice ball handler, too. Oh, he does a great job. He, he sees the fourth so well. He sees his people real he got, well. He got free for the left-hander. And down it goes at the three-minute mark. Harvard by 11. That's eight for King. Mata goes baseline. He's got it up and in. He just, just took just Martin to the baseline yeah. and stuck him. It took his foot to him. <laughs> He's got 19 points. He's got his team within nine again. He is fun to watch. Jamie Martin free. That's short. And now the momentum is belonging to the corn jerkers. Here they come. Beautiful feed. Miller's inside. He's got it. Oh, beautiful layup. Nice to sit. The assist to Walder. The adjustment in the air and two points for Miller. And now the corn jerkers are within seven and Harvard has to call timeout. So here comes Hoopston again with 2.18 to go in the third. We have a timeout. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Since Stan's promotion, the Wilsons have made some big changes. The magnet is working. It's 52 to 43. Ten points for King. Mata's on the left wing. Dave Bush still out of the game. And Root, the left-hander, can shoot from there. Walter's hot. They got Root track it in. Mata. Here's Mata. <laughs> He's on a bit of a roll himself. He's up to 21. He's got his team within seven again. Almost a turnover there. Look at King behind his back. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful handling. Martin fights the rebound with Walter. And Harvard keeps it. He made a mistake going after it. I'm not too sure that the referee didn't know who it was. I think they might have, it might have been a jump ball out of that. So Harvard throws it in. Remember the championship game coming up. Providence St. Mel 30 and 3 against Christman 28 and 4. Here's the whistle. Foul is going to be uh, looks like on 32 Kelly Clem. Kelly Clem, a 5'11 senior, 160 pounder. Clem picks up the foul. King in the air, nice block by Clem. King's got it. Jamie Martin gets it inside to Chemke. And Mata rebound two. We're down to a minute in the third quarter. No fatigue showing in this game. Mata looks inside. Nobody home. Most of the players have rotated out top. Dave Bush is on the bench. Here's Root outside. It's short. And Jones has got it. Two on two. Jones goes all the way and is blocked from behind. Beautiful block. Really a good play by Hoops and East Lynn. He walked. He traveled, yeah. Jimsy had no choice. He caught the ball in the air and ran with it. And the track leap continues with Houston having the ball out of bounds and trying to cut the lead to five with 35 seconds in the third. The basket here, Frank, and things looks a lot different for Houston. Mata is going to try again. Oh, good. He hit the window. Gee, I thought it was a... And he shot it that way. Beautiful shot. 23 points for Mata. And he fouled Shemke. Now there, Frank, you heard a natural coach's <laughs> reaction to a shot he didn't want to take. Bob yelled the minute he let the ball go and then suddenly said, good shot. Yeah, I did. Oh, How many times in 30 years oh, have you said that? Uh, Ten times a night. <laughs> <laughs> I said, terrible shot. Good shot, sir. <laughs> oh, dear. We Got caught him in the act. Uh, 15 seconds. Harvard by five with the ball. And Hoopston has come battling back again. They did it against the Knights of Providence earlier. We're down to five, four, King. No. Three, two. That's it. It won't count. It went in, but no, don't count it. Well, that, that's back what we said. We were uh, 40, 52 47, five point game. It was a big, big uh, move there by uh, Hudson. Okay, that's the end of three quarters. One of your network sponsors is the Cal Pfizer Genetics.
I was a good corn grower. I just didn't know how good. Not until I harvested. It's Walter, two more. Two more for Walter. And the corn jerkers are within three. Uh, and a foul on Miller. And they extended their press on the full court. It looked as if Randy Feller planned all night to press in the fourth quarter. Maybe he thought his team only had one quarter of pressing in it. That's possibly true. They had a they tough ball game today. It's great about this game for third place is the enthusiasm. Good crowd. Excellent crowd. Really so, Art. And as we noted earlier, this is the first tournament we've seen in high school played on the square bank board. I think you'll see uh, Shemke miss. And then tipped his own shot in. I think you'll see uh, Thad Mata coming up coming to cover this uh, Shemke. He's getting the ball with too much freedom here. Hoops in East Lynn with only six turnovers. Harvard with 11. Mata. I'm yeah. talking about. Now against the press, watch uh, Shemke getting the ball right in the middle of four. I think that Mata needs to come up there. All right. Harvard just threw it away. I know Shemke's getting the ball, and that's, the, that's how they're beating the press. I think you'll see a sad model coming up here and covering Shemke here in the next time down. There's Dave Bush checking into the game, and Steve Brothers goes out. He gave a lift to the corn jerkers. Which, who which are me to all see uh, Dave Bush get this inbound play here. Within three, Root. Long rebound, Jay Jones. Up ahead to King. Look at the effort. Dave. Kevin Root knocked it away. Jamie Martin is fouled. Walter got him. I'll tell you, Frank, Hoops at East Lynn has made more charges in this tournament than the Light Brigade. You know what? <laughs> you never count them out. They get way down in this dark, coming back. There's Jamie Martin, and he's one of the guys that could hold it off as his shooting. Well, Jamie uh, was held pretty well in the third quarter. He had a great first half. And no, I do not remember the Light Brigade. <laughs> that was going to be your next place. <laughs> Martin again. All strings, 20 points for Martin. Harvard by five at 640 in the game. A lob inside of the big man, Bush. Oh, he's had a shot and didn't take it. He sure did. He must take that shot. He will next year. He's in there for that one. Beautiful, beautiful feed by Thad Mata. Now you see here, Shemke open in the middle of floor. Six for Bush, three point game. Harvard with the basketball and Hoopston pressing for real for the first time. They press and then fall back into his own. Martin goes baseline. They're much more conscious of Martin now. There he is along the baseline. He got in, but he missed. And Bush has it. And Hoopston East Lynn could come within one with a hoop here. I believe Dave Bush is getting posted up in there. Miller is free. Yes, oh, off the glass. Beautiful. 58 and a 57. steal. Oh, no, almost a steal. King is up. Off of King's leg. Hoopston has a chance to take the lead. They have a timeout here by Harvard. Harvard calls time. It's a one pointer. One of your network sponsors is Alice Chalmers. Now, more than ever, Alice Chalmers tractors and greener combines are built with my satisfaction in mind. They even offer the peace of mind warranty. An all-new greener combines is a two-season warranty, and that means coverage for two full years. And new Alice Chalmers tractors now come with a three-year, 3,000-hour engine and powertrain warranty. Hey, if these machines weren't so good, they couldn't have such good warranty. So when I look for satisfaction, I look at Alice Chalmers first. Burger King does it again. Perhaps you think we're reminding you that the Whopper beats a Big Mac, right? Really, now, would Burger King do that? Yeah, but this time, it's breakfast. Does our crisp sandwich just beat the stuffing out of Eggie's muffin two to one for best taste? Our flaky croissant goes with golden eggs, melted cheese, and frosted bacon or ham. First the Whopper, now the crisp sandwich. Well, win a few, win a few. Put your heart for You see the score it's because in the second half Houston East Lynn has outscored Harvard 30 to 20 after trailing by 11 at halftime another thing Frank isn't it amazing the intensity of both teams playing at this uh, they've played a, a tough game this afternoon here they are playing real hard Alice Chalmers and your local Alice Chalmers dealer hope you're enjoying the telecast tonight hope you'll be with us next weekend for the double-a tournament all right the corn jerkers can take the lead with a hoop 
There's Bad Mata for the shot. Bingo! Bad Mata with 27 uh -oh. points. Yeah, the man turned his ankle. Looks like Jerry Miller. Jerry Miller. He turned his ankle. First injury in the tournament. And he's obviously in some pain. We're I think he playing. stepped on someone's foot. Look at Miller. He just walks it right off. A courageous young man. He has given his team a big lift. He's a war horse in there. He sure is. I believe he stepped on someone's foot right here. Yes, he did. He stepped on number uh, Mike, Fisher. Mike Fisher's foot. Coming into the game for him will be Steve Regan, 22. And Randy Feller's counting on him next year. I believe that you'll see uh, Jerry Miller back in the game. He'll walk it off a little bit. I believe he'll be back. There's still five and a half to play in this one. And the press is on by the Corn Jerkers, who now lead 59 to 58. Here's a great effort by Root. He couldn't get the steal. And the Corn Jerkers lead because their transition game has been under the whip and under the shooting of Fad Mata. He sure has. He's done a great job bringing his team back. Now King. Let's see if Harvard can reclaim the lead. They go inside to Shimke. He shoots. Good shot. He went right up over the top of Big Dave Bush. 14 for Shimke. He'll be on his way to Wisconsin to play football. Kevin Root. Tipped by Rikas and a whistle. Bad Mata is going to get the line. Let's see what the call is. Foul is on Harvard. It's on Fisher. And there you see Randy Feller, who has gone through a ringer today of emotion. Mata knew it as soon as he let it go. Yeah, he did. Just short. He One tried, out of three at the free throw. He tried to follow it up there. Quite a competitor. 60 all. 4.55 to play. And now, in essence, we've got a four-minute and 50-second game. Harvard has the ball. Martin Beautiful punches it down feed. there for a Beautiful miss. Feed. Inside by Fisher. Rejects the next one. Martin's got it back. Pull up one-hander. Oh, a beautiful shot by Jamie Martin. Martin made right with it. 22nd part gives Harvard the lead back. Mata looks Dave, it over. Dave Bush has got to get down lower. He's got the ball. He's got to get in closer. Root in traffic, shoots it up and misses. Martin finds King, and here comes Harvard. Oh, King lost the handle and saved it. What an effort he made. Went sprawling out of bounds and saved the ball. That was a great effort. I thought Sherry was ball and all was out of bounds. He was. Martin travel. Travel with the ball. And that effort by Tom King shows you that no matter what the game's for, they play to win. That's true. I, I, I maintain that Dave Bush has got to get posted up down closer. He's a little bit too far out of his range to, to shoot from out there. I, you know, I guess it's my opinion that Tom King would have done that if there was nobody here and it was summertime. <laughs> I agree with you. That Mata just drilled another one and he is unreal. 30 points in the game. Almost a steal. It's a tie game as Jones goes all the way for two. No goal. No basket. In high school, they've taken the judgment call away from the official right. and given it to a rule. That's true. In other words, it, definitely the band was posted here. 33 was posted up. He was definitely stopped. He was set in a defensive position. So the officials call time to clear up with the bench that the basket does okay. not count. So the score remains 62 all, 335 to play in one honey of a game. Kevin Root is always watched. Here's Walter. Joel Walter drips in his 13th. And Hoopson has the lead. Now watch Harvard. Be looking for Jamie Martin here, I'm sure. He wheels across the lane and goes to the top of the key. Inside Shemke steps in and missed. The battle on the board. Bad Mata jumping. 
with those big guys in there just like he, 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 and, uh, he and Dave Bush really fighting the board. Oh, a technical geez. foul has been in on the Harvard Barkley. That's two pitches, Frank. And the ball. Hey, that's costly. They did have the ball. Now it's two pitches and the, and the and loss of the ball. Well, the foul is on the Harvard coach, Bruce Perchow. That's, of course, a two-shot violation. As Bob Dallas just pointed out, Pat Mata will go to the line, a 72% foul shooter. This could be a four-point turnaround, Frank. And Hoops and East Lynn already leads by two. Three. And there's a coach who desperately wanted this victory and still may get it, but got a little overzealous apparently that time. Mata made the ball. Well. Now, the, the big costly thing is it cost them the possession of the ball, Frank. They did have the ball out of bounds in their own goal. Now it's a mid-court white ball. So for a chance to get to, the other team with a chance to get four That's could be a six-point swing. Exactly right. 32 points for Mata and a four-point lead as Mata goes to the top of the key. And the Dave Bush. Here's Walder again. And a foul. I think the foul... I think the foul was on number 40, Eric Shimke. Away from the ball, it is on Shimke. 2.52 to play. And from 11 down at the half, Hoopston is leading by four. Big Dave Bush has not been that much of a factor at scoring-wise in this game, Frank, but here's two big pitches here. It could make a big difference. He has six points, and I guarantee you he'll be a force next year in class A. It's a five-point lead now. I say that pitch was right down the middle. <laughs> yes, About it was. High. Yes, it was. A fastball strike. <laughs> Great throw, <laughs> yeah. Bush. Free throw. Another one just like the other one. <laughs> same, same location. That's right. Two, 52. Harvard with it. Six down. A rejection. Uh, and Bush with his fifth block. Dave Bush has gotten some new life, Frank. Maybe that rest on the bench there uh, made a big difference. Harvard calls timeout. 2.45 to play, and we're still up. A tight one. One of your network sponsors, Country Companies Insurance. The Johnsons always loved their home the way it was. I'll bring some out. But then they had a fire in the kitchen that spread to the family room. No one was hurt, but the fire did destroy a pretty important electric train setup. Tell us, Beth, how did you explain that to the kids? All I can say is country companies got us back on track in a hurry. Yeah, got the country behind you. For their understanding clean service. You got the country companies. When you want to complete household projects within your budget, your greatest tool can be the value-packed Hardware Week circular from True Value Hardware Store. Get a 2,101-piece nut and bolt center for just $9.99. And this master mechanic power screwdriver bit set for only $3.69. Detect fires quickly with a first alert smoke alarm, just $8.99. And remove garbage easily with this True Value trash can on wheels, only $9.99, at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. You can hear the crowd. And there's the story. 2.45 in the game. Hoops and East Lynn with their comeback has the lead. Frank, I, uh, I really think that you'll see uh, some slow down tactics from uh, here on out of uh, Hoopston. I think they'll slow it down when they come back with it if they get the ball back with the lead. Hoopston has a big advantage in the backcourt. That was scoring. offensive. Oh, oh, yes. It's walking, traveling. I think you may see a little four corners now, Frank, with 2.40 to go. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see him slow it down and give it the ball to Sad Mata. It's a three-quarter court trap press by Harvard. Walder in trouble, and he got it away to Root. Had two men open out of the go. Some of these players, like Martin and King, with those long wingspans, were still two and a half minutes left in the game. I think you'll see him spread it out here. Hoops and East Lynn can shoot free throws, as we've said before, and very well. And they're doing the four-corner with 2.15. And Mata, who can play any position on the court, is at his best on the open court with the ball. And a foul on King. The third foul on Tom King. 
will send Joe Walter to the line. And there's the study of the sideline. Coming up after this game, Providence St. Mel will go against Crispin Cardinals for the state championship of Class A. Walter free throw, Frank. Big free throw there. That puts them on seven points. And that four possessions Harvard needs. It's 14 points for Joe Walter, who's played a big game. Another big free throw. 207. And Joe Walter nearly stolen. Almost stolen. He Joe just Walter. Sucked the free throws and went right after the ball. He's a senior, and he's going out with one of his better games, I'm sure. 70-62. Look at the pressure. Jamie Martin covered up by Bush. Gets the Shemke off the window for Get two. Feed. They broke the press pretty easily then. 16 for Shemke. Six points difference. The team in white, Hoopson with the lead. And they're content to melt the clock. Now Harvard's enemy is the clock. They'd like to see the ball in Thad Mata's hands, I'm sure. Root gets open. A minute and a half left. Bush. It looks more and more now like Hoopson is going to get third. Bush in heavy traffic. We're down to 115. Listen to the crowd. Jay Jones is fifth. Kevin Root has a chance at the free throw line. Joe Wilder hit two. We'll see how, how uh, Kevin Root responds to this pressure. Yeah, definitely a good call. Number 10, Jay Jones, got him in the arm. Number 50, Scott Weinster comes on for the Hornets, and so does 24, Mike Jones. Weinster's in the game, way on the other end of the court, almost alone. Root. Big free throw again, Frank. And one of the things the corn jerkers do so well is hit free throws. They're up to about 70% for the season as a team. Beautiful, beautiful shooting. Under pressure. 105. Inside Martin. Steps in for two. Oh, three point play. And the one thing Hoopson didn't want to do, they did. That's right. Uh, Dave Bush reached over. Martin froze his man with a step along the baseline and then got it in. And Root fouled him. Jamie Martin did a good job, put the ball on the floor and, and making him foul him, actually. On his drive, he just committed, overcommitted himself. He just took him up. Martin makes the three-point play, makes it a five-point game, and it's still anybody's with 102. Can Harvard turn the ball over here? King fouled Walder. And now Harvard has to hope that Hoopson misses some free throws. That's four on King. Joe Wilder hit two big ones a while ago, and uh, we'll see how he responds this time. He's a pressure type ball player. Fisher goes in there. And Weinstraub. Walter averages nine, has had 15. He missed. Jamie Martin's got it. Harvard's got a gas. They've got a hurry. King, pull up one-hander. Nice rebound by Fisher. He's got a layup. It came off. The big miss. Now Walter cuts between two players, and Martin fouled him. Walter going to line again. 42 seconds remain. This is a foul. He must be. He had to foul him here. He reached in. He had to get him. They had to stop the clock. Harvard got off early and led by 11 at halftime. Led by five at the end of three. Walter comes right back. He missed his first little one-on-one. -on -one. Now he hits the first one. This is a big free throw there. It's now a six-point lead for the team in white. And a seven. Uh, 
big uh, day. Oh, Mala just stole the inbound pass. Well, hey, we got this one. Hey, nice catch. <laughs> Turned a big play. He not only stole it, then he then he caused this one to be thrown away. He has 34 points in the game with 39 seconds left. A great performance. Bush and a speed in this place. And the game belongs to Hoopston now as Harvard comes up. What an outstanding season for both these teams. 15 Harvard. seconds to go, Frank. They had a chance to come within three. Shimpy got it in. He's got 18. Still nine down the floor. Three on one. Nice play, Rikas for two, and it counts. And a foul on Shimke. And hoops to East Lynn with 80 points in the game. They've really had an outburst. Shimke really got him a good foul here. Look, call it in. Yeah, uh, he did. It was a two-shot foul, right? They count no. the basket. This is a four-point play, potentially. There you go. Here's another angle. Oh, he really chopped him good. And now. Look at Mata, look at Mata. Wow, what a performance. Oh, oh, he's, he's a leader. And there's his last game for Randy Feller, and he gives his coach a hug. He plays with so much intensity. He, he really loves this game. A tenacious, enthusiastic player. He'd be a great comes, asset at SIU. Here comes Jamie Martin out of the another game. Another great player. And don't forget, he's another outstanding performer, 25 points. There's Dave Bush enjoying it. He'll be back. Now, let's get some of the names in. Steve Rikas, Brad Dean, Kelly Clem, Ryan Queen, Eric Goodrum for Hoopston. Greg Rupp, Tim Bays, Dave Lipinski, Fred Garza, Mike Jones. This is another one of those 12-point ball games, Frank, that never was, never, you never know. If you just see the scores, it was a one-sided game. Just 30 seconds to go. They had a chance to come within three points. Eric Goodrum picks up the foul for Hoopston. So Hoopston has taken third. And their record as they close the season will be a very impressive 31 and 3. 31 and 3. That's a great record. That's about as many games you can play in one year, 34. And Harvard will finish 29 and 3. Great record. Both of them. Great. Mike Jones makes it 81 to 70. <laughs> I, Frank, did you ask me if I thought that Dustin uh, would come back? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> There's a shot up and down. No. Rebound to Houston. Brad Dean brings it up. Five seconds. Four. Rikas. Three. Rikas to the goal. Go! What a fit. That's a good way to end the game. Sure is, and it counts. And he gets to shoot a free throw. Yep, they're going to have a free throw, too. Give the basket. The scoreboard's already coming down at center court, but there'll be a free throw, I'm sure. Congratulations to Hoopston and to Harvard on their seasons, and Hoopston's the third-place winner. Let's get the free throw in here. we got to get the final score. The free throw is good by Rikus. The final score is 84 to 70. Hoopston, the winner of third place. What a fourth quarter. At the end of three quarters, Hoops and East Lynn had 47 points, and they ended up with 84. Uh, isn't that a, a tremendous output offensively? You know, you had a feeling that things were going to open up for them, and I was really surprised, Frank, to see them do this without Dave Bush in the lineup. And uh, most of the third quarter, early part of the fourth, he was sitting on the bench, six ten and a half, if you can believe it. In the first half, Hoopson scored 27 points. In the last quarter, they scored 37. Isn't yeah. that? That's true. Of course, look at Thad Mata, who scored what 30 some 34 points. You had a 